Cardinal Mark Ouellet is being accused of sexual assault in a class action lawsuit against the Roman Catholic Archdiocese of Quebec. For more on this breaking news story, we have with us CDV's jean louis Boschme. jean louis if you're with us, good afternoon. Uh, bring us up to speed with what we are hearing about this story, the sexual assault case against the Cardinal. Well, this is part of law paper, legal documents that were filed in the cases regarding two class action lawsuits that have been filed against 88 members of the clergy, um, 100 victims named as part of this class action lawsuit, and by far the most prominent person named in those lawsuits is the Cardinal Marc Ouellet. Now, we know that he has a very high position within the Vatican. He was at one time regarded as a potential successor to be Pope. So certainly this name is very, very, very prominent within the Church. And there have been no criminal charges laid against him. And these, as I say, are legal documents, allegations that are made within the context of an application for these class action lawsuits. But what is alleged in those documents is that a 23-year-old woman says that she was an intern. She worked at the Archdiocese in Quebec City back in 2008 when Ouellette was a cardinal there, was the Bishop of Quebec City of Quebec and the Archbishop of Quebec. And at the time, she would have met him in the context of public interactions in public. And in those occasions, he would have approached her, he would have uh, embraced her, he would have kissed her, he would have uh, put his hand down her back. And uh, she describes feeling very uncomfortable with these interactions and uh, says that he caressed her vigorously in her back, leading to her buttocks. And she says that uh, these were interactions that happened over a period of at least two occasions in public. And as I say, this was back in 2008. 2008. So what's been the reaction from the authorities there at the church? And what about the complaint itself? Uh, where have we seen the complaint go from here? Well, the Diocese of Quebec City says it will not make any sort of comment regarding these allegations. It is looking at the lawsuit. Um, there's, of course, a lot of reaction, a lot of people looking at the situation now and, and, and the high-profile name of Cardinal Marquellet. We should say that most of the other allegations in the lawsuit are related to crimes that, uh, to sexual assaults that would have uh, happened against uh, people who were um, minors at the time, back in the 40s and 50s. So the allegations against Willett are, uh, seem to be slightly different uh, of, in nature uh, to those other cases. But this is, of course, as I say, two class action lawsuits that are very high profile. Very high profile, including so many of those uh, witnesses that you say, victims, I beg your pardon, 100 victims as it represents. Uh, let's also talk about the reaction to this breaking news. Have we generally heard from the public in Quebec? What do they have to say about this? Well, it's just percolating now. People are going to have to sort of take in what the situation is. There has been a lot of, he's, of course, you know, many people in Quebec know very well who the Cardinal is. And of course, he was traveling when the, with the Pope when the Pope came to Quebec City uh, just earlier this summer. So there's a lot of images of here, stand, of him standing right side by side, right near the Pope during that entire visit. And so certainly we expect a lot of people to be asking a lot of questions as to exactly what happened here. Yeah, and you'll be following that story closely for us for the moment. Jean-Louis Boschman, appreciate those insights. Thank you for sharing the breaking news right now.